The thousands of mostly ultra-nationalist Israelis took part in an annual march through a dense Palestinian neighborhood in Jerusalem's old city on Wednesday with some stoking wartime tensions and chanting debt to Arabs. Jerusalem, the epicenter of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, has been mostly calm throughout the Israel-Hamas war. But the march could ignite widespread tensions as it did three years ago when it helped set off an 11-day war in Gaza. Marchers gathered outside the Damascus Gate, a central gathering place for Palestinians in East Jerusalem, chanted anti-Arab and anti-Islamic slogans, danced and waved Israeli flags as the procession kicked off. Just before the march began, crowds scuffled with police and threw plastic bottles at a journalist wearing a vest with the word press embezzled on it. Some chanted, Muhammad is dead, referring to Prophet Muhammad of Islam. The march was taking place as tensions over the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza are quite high. The war began with Hamas' October 7 attack with southern Israel, in which militants killed some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducted around 250 hostages. Israel responded with a massive offensive that has killed over 36,000 Palestinians, displaced most of the territory's population and caused widespread destruction. The United States has thrown its weight behind a face ceasefire and hostage release outlined by President Joe Biden last week. But Israel says it won't end the war without destroying Hamas, while the militant group is demanding a lasting ceasefire and full withdrawal of Israeli forces.